Hello and welcome to another Excel training video. My name is Ken Tagari. Now, in this lesson, uh, well, it's got a long name. Over here, I've titled it Using VBA to Reset Dependent List When Cell Dropdown Value in First List is Changed. Now, this is quite a mouthful. What do I mean? Uh, it's simply in an, it's another way of saying uh, when you've got say two, three, four, whatever number of drop down lists and they're dependent on one another and then you change the first value you would expect the other that's the first list the value in the first list you would expect the values in the other lists to basically be reset that's go back to zero value or null value or maybe whatever value you want it to be it could be things like uh, maybe a value called please select or something like that right so I don't waste time I'm going to go straight to showing you an example over here I've got dependent lists um, this is the model example hold a second please now this is the model example um, I've got dependent lists where you select country then city and then you see the model of a car manufactured in that country city uh, whatever now of course these are very unreal this is very unreal data um, Ford Z2 I don't know if it exists I'm not a car person so I r really don't know and my dependent lists they are picking values from here that's this drop down here but quickly let me t show you what I'm talking about so I've got United States here I can pick New York and I've got the model of car manufactured in New York as Ford Z2 now I come in here I change to Nigeria the second dependent list here is can you can see that it's gone blank right so I didn't have to select so Nigeria Abuja in a sin R type model. Now this is achieved using VBA. If you had no VBA here, what you would have is a situation like this. I pick United States, I pick Washington DC, for Z1 is the model produced there. And then I come back here and say okay, I want to change to UK. You can see that your Washington DC still persists. So if someone was creating a report out of this and uh, the person doesn't know well enough to change the city value, you might see a report saying uh, Washington DC in the United K uh, Kingdom produces Ford Z1 model of cars, which is actually wrong. So I want to be able to, when I change, this goes blank then it makes me understand that I have to change the value how do I go about this I'm going to pick out this value so I don't need to rebuild the drop downs again I'm going to copy hope this works okay I come over to this place here I'm going to test this Nigeria come over here now this didn't work Mm. Oh, but I didn't want to do some editing. I guess I have to do the editing. Oh no! Let me try this again. Pick this value. Copy. Oh boy, I have to do some editing. Okay, I'm going to pause still and make this um, make this work. I don't know why it's not working here. I'm going to pause the video and come back. I'm going to make this dependent. Just hold a second, please. Thank you. Right, I'm back. I had to copy the entire uh, tab into this into sheet two and then got rid of some values okay so here we are I changed to Nigeria this doesn't change and I want it to change how do I do this uh, I'm gonna go to 
the VBA window for Excel spreadsheet. I do that by um, holding my key, my put my fingers in Alt, then type in, then pressing the F L F11 key. I'm going to write it out. So, so Alt plus F11 key. I know there's a way you can get around that using one of this, but um, I don't know. I'll, I kind of I'm only used to the shortcuts, so I'm going to just hold a second. Let me blow this up so you can see what's happening here. So Alt F11, and um, this was the VBA, but I'm going to recreate it again. I'm going to get rid of this. So the first thing you need to do is to identify the shit. Oops, I have the way of pronouncing shit. It sounds like shit or something, but the worksheet that um, that 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 your drop down is in. You you cannot create the VBA in a module. It has to be within a worksheet. So you come over, check. I'm going to cross check. Isn't shit two? I come over here. Oops, sorry. Come over back here. So I'm going to double click on shoot two here. Then I come over here, click on this. This is not what I want. This is saying selection change. This is not what I want. I want something different. I'm going to erase this. Come over to declarations. Sorry, I'm gonna go back again. Oh shit. Come over here. Click on change. Now I've got that. I can get rid of this one. I don't need it. Then I start writing in something. I'd say if this uh, this is a code, just take note of it. I'm going to try. Let me see if I can zoom in so that this is much larger. Just hold a second. Uh, file. Okay, let's try view. Hmm. There's a zoom button. Oh boy. I'm trying to zoom. Zoom. Let's zoom in or zoom out. How do I do? that uh, okay don't worry about that okay I can't find the zoom where the zoom is so I hope you can see what I'm writing so it's this if target dot address that's if the target address is equal to range. I'm going to go back to identify what range that was in. This okay. So this is a target address C7. I want to change it C9. So I'll go back. Mm. Range C7. So just take note of this. Identify the range that you would like to refer to. That's the, that's a range that's when you when 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 you change it, you want another range to change to change value. Yep. Dot oops, dot address. That's if that address if the target address is range C7. That's the address. Then then what happens? Then range bracket open C9 C9 let me show you where what C9 is here. C9 is this. So if this changes, uh, that's what the VBA is saying. If this changes, then C9. I'm going to go back here. C9 dot value 
as a value of C9 is equal to empty. So if, for example, uh, I had, um, let's say, if I want to put some like, please select from this drop down, I could put it there. But the only reason I'm not going to put that in here is because my drop down list is working with a data validation rule. And uh, please select is not part of the list. So I'm just going to put empty. It's going to accept empty. Then after that, and if. So we've got our VBA here. You can make it neat and tidy by highlighting, pressing the tab key. Right, so now we'll come here. Let's see if this works. I come over here, I change to Nigeria. Oop, I'm in the United States. Wow, it's changed. I pick Washington DC. I come over to UK. It's, it's, it's uh, reverse the value again. I pick Manchester. I come over to Nigeria and I pick. Oops, sorry, what happened there? I come over to Nigeria, then I pick Lagos. And there we have it. You see the way this works. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I, I, I do hope. I, I do hope you know how to also create dependent drop down lists. If you do not know how to do that, I think I've got some other videos earlier on that shows how you can create such dependent uh, drop down lists in the first place. I hope to see you in some other video very soon. Take care. Bye bye.